This entire trip was booked on Traveloka. Download the app now. How do people eat this stuff? It smells like sh It really smells like that. Life with no distractions Get away This is what we waited for What's up, Taiwan? We're here to see what you guys have to offer, okay? I heard your food's great, street food's good We're here for the next five days With no idea what we're doing But first things first It's time to check in the hotel Let's go First check-in is the W Hotel Right in the heart of Taipei Every morning, you'll be able to wake up with the beautiful view of one of the tallest buildings in the world called the Taipei 101. Dude, this is like a very nice place uh, if you want to bring your girlfriends or you know, if your other house for a honeymoon or whatever not. Because like, you got a view of Taipei 101. And uh, if the mood is right, you'll be Taipei 101-ing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're here at Cementic, which is sort of like a night place for you to go shopping. We're here to basically explore the food that we have here in Taiwan. We just arrived, we're hungry, and we're just gonna see what street food we can find. So let's go check this place out. Overall, Seaman Ding is the place to go to because it offers a wide variety of food. You can come back here every day and you will not get bored. But because we were here for only one night, we basically gobbled down as much as we could and all we have to say, Seaman Ting's street food oh, wow. is amazing. <laughs> Now, if you're ever in the area, make sure you check out this restaurant over here. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's along Chengdu Road, Lane 133. Food is amazing. Um, the aunties over here were very, very friendly. They were suggesting what we should eat. And after that, our dinner escapade over here is done, okay? Because the food was so good, we are really, really full, okay? Maybe a little bit of space for dessert, but you know, check out this place if you're here. So after all that food from last night, we had to burn some calories in what better way but to climb up one of the tallest buildings in Taiwan. So I got our tickets to go up to the Taipei 101 Observatory. Uh, weather is not so good today as what they told us but hey, hey since we're already here, we might as well go right. Now each one's about 600 Taiwan dollars, which sets you back about 70 ringgit. So we're actually gonna board the world's fastest passenger elevator in the world. You know why? Because not only Guinness approves of it, CNN approves of it. Oh wow, it's pretty fast. Oh my god guys, that was such an amazing experience going out to Taipei 101, checking out the sceneries. Okay ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the highest floor of Taipei 101 and we have... Snow! Okay, no, maybe not snow. Fog! And on this corner, more fog! This is the infinity sky floor. Ladies with skirts, you wouldn't want to come here. <laughs> More fog. This is your expectation. This is your reality. <laughs> well, at least there's something visible. So Jeremy, tell me what, what do you think of uh, the Taipei 101? It's a... Uh, I'll be very honest with you, right? You know, they say the lift is fast, right? Yeah. But we can't even see outside. For all I know, right? We only went up one floor. Yeah, I know! <laughs> we just went up one floor and it came up fog. This was exciting. I mean, we barely could see anything. But of course, if you were ever to make a trip up to the Taipei 101, make sure you choose uh, a day where it's clear. Otherwise, you're wasting your money. And when we got down, the fog cleared up. A little bit. Okay, time to catch our flight. Let's go. Hualien, here we come. We're here at Taroko National Park. 
And right now we're just going to be going to a few places to check this place out. You can see the scenery in the background is just so freaking majestic. It's some place that you basically go to to get inspiration. You just look at the waterfalls, you look at the mountains, you would be like... <sighs> Beautiful. days we've been staying at Silk's Place, Taroko. This place allows you to wake up to a beautiful view. Mountains surrounding you, rivers by the side of the hotel. And not exactly the cheapest, but we managed to get a good deal on Traveloka because we booked this place as a member. And that's what you get if you book your hotels or your flights as a member of Traveloka. So if you want to get away from the city life, want to go to a place for a retreat, this is the perfect place. This is our very last stop in Taiwan and welcome to Fo Guan Shan, the largest temple in Taiwan and it is just a view that you really need to just stand there and absorb everything. Look at that! We only had five days in Taiwan but it's safe to say that the people here and the country itself have found a place in our hearts. We'll be back and you know what they say, you have not been to Taiwan unless you've tried smelling tofu. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to do that. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Try, try, try to relax, try to relax. This. Oh my god! She look at she's laughing at me! She doesn't eat it. It's very good! Yeah, she says it's good! <laughs> <laughs> 